Oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Civilization VI. Now, many people in the comment section of the last video were basically interested to see what would happen if I took my exploit and put it into a multiplayer setting. So that's exactly what I'll be doing in today's video. However, I also thought I might spice it up a bit. So I poked about with this exploit to see if we could use it for something other than just an extremely large amount of free settlers, and instead maybe something slightly more powerful, perhaps. And that's when I stumbled upon something relatively interesting. Yes, I'm talking about fishing boats which have the production potential of effectively the entirety of the United States, but just simply crumpled into one tiny city in 4000 BC. That's right ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about making one city so overpowered it has the ability to produce every single thing in the game in just one turn. How on earth are you going to be able to pull off that exploit? Well sit back, relax and watch today's video because it's going to be a particularly spicy one as I decimate a friendship and also hopefully have some fun along the way. Anyway, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into this video and make sure that you sat back, you relaxed, you have a nice warm cup of tea, and hey, if you're an absolutely fantastic human being, you might have even liked the video and also, oh my goodness, you could have even subscribed. Now that would be magic, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's dive into this glorious video as I say goodbye to my last friend who I'm not having to pay for company. In the uh, last video, it turns out a lot of you want to see what happens if we kind of use our magical tricks on a willing test subject. So today, I'm joined by Connor. Hello, you're my Discord admin and you featured in quite a few of my videos. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. Thank you for reading your auto queue script cards. You're doing a fantastic job. Your pay has been increased by 0.1 teabags per hour. Now, have you seen my last Civilization 6 video? I have not. Fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Don't feel like you're missing out. Don't worry. Absolutely nothing happened in the last one. Have you played Civ 6 before? A little bit. There you go. That's all you need. That's all you need. What I want you to do, just hit ready. You're perfect for this. You're going to be absolutely fantastic for this game. Just ready yourself in. It's going to be a dual map, just you and I. We're going to be playing off against each other. I'm going to hold your hands, teach you how to play Civ kind of properly, the meta build, and it's going to be great. Aren't you excited? I'm very excited. That's good. I you may should be. Even win. You may even win. I'm hoping you win. <laughs> right, so I'm in the game, and naturally, uh, I'm just going to be settling a nice little happy city. Now, you have, I'm sure, tons of experience playing Civilization VI, but of course, you know that I'm a good player, and I I like Civ 6 and I'm going to be nice and peaceful. I'm going to go for a science victory. Okay, a science victory. Are you ready for that? Yes. What other victories do you know exist in this game? Culture. Culture. Nice. Faith. Faith. And domination. And domination. Nice. Now, we wouldn't want to go for a domination victory because that would be quite mean if we were to do that, wouldn't it? So I would never do that personally. Yes, obviously. Now, if you You're were to... You're a lovely, lovely person. I'm a lovely person. Now, if you were to rate on like a scale of 1 to 100, what the best unit in Civilization 6 is, what would you say it is? And also, why is it the warrior? Um, The warrior? Really? Correct. And you're going to see why in about 15 turns time. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh god, I don't want to spoil the surprise too much, but it's very lovely. Oh, you also need to enter in the bottom oh. right of the screen. <laughs> doing a good job don't worry it's go great so you know how you mentioned that there was a faith victory in this game you're technically right however in order to pull off a faith victory you literally it's just physically impossible actually i'm not even going to pretend that you could achieve it it's only possible if for some reason all the other players in the game just forget that they have a military as they can just instantly put down any like missionaries you send their direction it's absolutely stupid um you don't have a problem with me calling my city hong kong do you no that's fine youtube so uh, youtube's algorithm it. might but i'm personally fine with it oh god i have a meeting with a youtube official this week and uh, oh god i'm gonna delete my channel now it takes ages to do anything in this game well that's kind of what the early turns are like. You've got one city, a couple of population. It's going to take a while to get your civilization up and running. You want to know a saying? Rome wasn't built in a day. And you know what that means? It means wait and shut up and behave. <laughs> now, I mean, if you also have friends and more than my singular friend of Connor, uh, you can invite them to a multiplayer game and have fun with them because that's what you're meant to do in Civ 6 multiplayers. Connor, do you even like playing games with me? Um... The, the pause bit. on how long it took you to answer that is just... It tells me more I than I need to know. Okay, so um, you've ended your turn now, Connor, but 
I'm going to be doing something quite magnificent over here. So if anyone's able to see my glorious cities, which of course they can, uh, they'll notice that I have two little fishy uh, things set up here, both getting worked by some workboats. Now, workboats, they're good. Um, they provide you with bonus food when put on fish. However, if we go to the found pantheon section, you'll notice God of the Sea here provides plus one production from fishing boats. So we're just going to hit found pantheon on this. And then we've done it once and we're also going to do it again. What I've managed to do um, is I've affected effectively stacked the God of the Oceans completely onto just two little fishing sites and as a result I'm able to now produce a warrior in a single turn uh, so I'm just going to be queuing up a few of these bad boys oh no <laughs> oh they're going to be very spicy indeed very spicy I'm dead on not I I'm afraid there's indeed a distinct possibility that you could be and the reason why I'm using warriors is because they're actually really good for the sole reason that you don't have to pay maintenance on them just because of how much they are they like suck so i'm not gonna queue out just uh, a metric ton of warriors fantastic eight warriors now i've just got to locate where you are and then i can kill you uh in hopefully turn 25 of this game right, so i'm now just on my mission to try and track you down uh as i'm now producing one warrior per turn effectively they're gonna start churning churning themselves out now it's a bit of a shame i can't produce two units in one city that'd be very nice those innocent civilians trying to run away oh we found you we found you that's perfect oh yes so you're over to the left of me oh that's good no that was I, my guys are all over the map how did he get there like, in comparison um, from that man, where is your city? I want to know no. for peace and trade. Peace and trade, good. good. Peace and trade is en route. I also just happen to have two warriors named Peace and Trade, but, you know, different <laughs> reasons. I don't know, I've got a lot of warriors. Have you got a lot of warriors? Have Probably you got no enough idea. warriors, though? That's the issue. I've got one, two, three, four, and two scouts. That's honestly a lot of warriors. <laughs> I feel like I should hopefully have an edge here, considering oh. I... Did you just declare war on me? I just accidentally <gasps> missed It's it. an act of self-defense, ladies and gentlemen. Those horrific Chinese aggressors strike once more. They forced our hand today. Nothing to do with the fact that we've been spamming out military units all over their lands. They attack first. <gasps> you, you just threw in a scout at me. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just a bloke with a stick and a dog versus like Ugg here and his like stick with large rock on the end of it. Oh my goodness, there's oh. a lot of fighting going on here. Ow, ouchie. Is that the name of your leader? I'm oh, sorry, so that's so okay. <laughs> so bad. God, this is why we're not allowed to record together. Oh, right, I'm gonna kill your scout. That's a scout done for. Can't let that one live. Oh, you, where? You've got scouts coming out of the bloody woodworks. It's just gonna be wave after wave of caveman throwing himself at the cliff of Hong Kong as he tries to lay siege to it. Stop trying to kill my sweet, sweet boys. You haven't done anything wrong. You just keep killing them. What? Well, you haven't actually killed one yet, but like the intent is there. Oh my god, do you just. You actually killed it with a scout. Okay, right, that's it. That's war. That's war. Oh my god, why? why there's so much war. <laughs> this is honestly like the most intense early game I've had for a very long time, although I am enjoying it. I'm going for the culture win. You're going for the culture victory, okay. Right, that's fine. No joke, culture victory in this game is one of the worst kind of victory types for the sole reason that if you go for it and someone else wants to go for it, you basically can't. Um, yeah. You just have to sit and wait for them to win the game. Oh my god, have you got a slinger? This is getting wild. Slingers and everything. <gasps> no, don't kill my sweet boy. He's one of my best dudes. Right, I'm going to kill you for that. Begun, the oh, dude wars no. have. The dude wars have begun. This is dudes on dudes. Hot dude Just on like dude action. Man. How long does it take you to train a um a warrior? Two turns. It takes me one turn. <laughs> so yeah. I know. I'm killing you. Yes. Oh my slingers. Yes, my all poor, those poor slingers slinger. will die. Won't be needing those slingers for much longer. <clears throat> Gonna be dead. Just like you. Bam! I jumped into the midpoint of the video when you least expected me. That's right, it's me, the spiffing Brit. I'm back. I'm here to tell you, go refill your cup of tea. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video so far. You best have, because if you haven't, I'll break your legs. Oh, I mean, um, I'll be exceedingly upset and I'll try and improve. I'll break your legs. So yes, you've had a lovely time watching. But hey, if you're sat there having a nice refreshing cup of Yorkshire tea, why not have a cup of Yorkshire tea in, that's right, the Spiffco approved mug. Bam, 
bam, bam, bam. It's merch plug. It's a fantastic mug, ladies and gentlemen. Just drinking out of it bestows you with godlike abilities to no clip through maps. Just be warned, drinking it might accidentally have you fall through the floor of your house, and half the time we forget to actually ship out the mug with instructions of how to activate and turn off god mode. But you know, just use it carefully. It's a good mug. Anyway, let's dive back into this fantastic video. I mean, really, there are much better ways we could have invested this uh, incredible exploited amount of production in a very early game city. But no, early warrior spam wars was definitely the way that we want it done. I feel kind of sorry for those slingers, if I'm honest. Oh, oh, I'm choosing the wrong things. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you choose, Connor. Your I'm pain and suffering will end soon. I'm not, I'm not going down without a fight. I'll give you a bit of a fight then. No, I'm not having your slingers oh, no. do stuff. Those slingers will die. Why are you producing so many slingers? Because I'm a noob. Nice. My slingers. <laughs> I mean, they're not a terrible unit. It's not like the worst oh, thing you I could do with your time. Them. They're not even ranged, really, are they? No, they're kind of like semi-ranged, if I'm honest. Okay, I've just I know got one guy left here. standing. You're some way over here. You've got one guy left. Oh, I've got a military strength of 277 in 1700 BC. Oh no, my poor little guy. I thought we lived in a free world. No, we don't. I mean, you're playing China, okay? So... Oh, good point. <laughs> Are those the borders? The sweet, sweet Chinese borders. Right, I'm coming for that. So have you got two cities now? Yeah. Oh, keep it nice and busy for me, I see. Keep me on my toes. Keep me guessing. I told you, I'm not going down without a fight. No, no, no. You put up whatever you deem a fight is. That's fine. I'll just decimate you nonetheless. Oh, yeah. The, the first wave has currently crossed the river. We are so close to those sweet, sweet Chinese cheeks. We're going to decimate with our superior weaponry. Well, not superior weaponry, just superior numbers. That's the only thing yeah. I've got going for me. Which, ironically, is the only thing that China has. Yes, very good point. Right, attack one. Oh my goodness, you know it's going to be good when the like pre-combat says major, major defeat. defeat. That's where you know some good stuff's happening. Okay, archers are not a viable thing, apparently. Uh, it's too late for me to change that. Archers, look, they're not bad, but uh, in the situation you find yourself in, let's just say they're not going to particularly help, help very well. Oh, but this is great. I can build an improvement on crabs, fishing boats, plus one food and plus 11 production. Yes. Yeah, to put that into like comparison for you, that's uh, apparently more production than a nuclear reactor will give you in this game. You advance. Yes, we found Beijing. It's the capital. Perfect. Oh god, this city is 42 production and we're in turn 33. Like, 42 production would be great if you've entered the industrial age. 42? 42 production. I mean, the thing is, I could put down multiple cities and provided I find, like, multiple fish, I can have even more. And if I spent more time doing this exploit, it can go so much further. Like, we're talking into, like, plus 50 production fishing boats, if you really wanted. I'm not sure why, but you could. Oh, I attacked Beijing! Uh, they died in a glorious battle, but it happened. I'm taking it. I'm taking it on the chin. I'm gonna take it on the chin, are you? Right, that's fine. Yeah. I've got my archers moving in as well, so it's not gonna be too much you can do. Got range oh, no. and melee. Um, I think now is the time to say that your technique works very well on multiplayer. Yes, it does indeed appear to work relatively well on multiplayer, wouldn't you say? Yes. I do. I'm glad that I have you in agreement here. With with tears in my eyes. No, don't tell the people of YouTube you're crying. Don't show any weakness. I trained you to Smith, be a good strong Smith, moderator. He hits me. <laughs> he does. No one said such a thing about that. There we go. Yes. Push into Beijing. Steal the workers. Yes. The workers are mine now. Oh dear, I just attacked Beijing. Oh. God, that really does drain the warrior's health. It's going to be fine. We'll get through those walls. I do have a lot of them. I mean, it is going to take about... I'm going to estimate about five warriors to just, like, tear down the walls of Beijing. I mean, you don't even have walls. It's literally just throwing themselves against, like, huts at this stage of the game. Oh, it's just kicked your archer out. That's nice. It's very nice of them to do that. Yes, we'd like to put the uh, vulnerable unit on the outskirts of the city where it can't defend itself, please. Thanks, Civ6. Thanks, advice. Very cool. What a fantastic little game. Well, what should I do with your little builder? Oh, I can build Stonehenge. I'm going to put your builder out in the ocean. Don't, they'll drown. They don't need to swim. Fine. Oh my god, you're getting a lot of, like, huge quantities of, of warriors are coming out of your place now. It's wild. There we go. We are moving in, though. Bam. Attack. Yes. Good. It's looking much better now. Oh, this is going to take a while. 
This is actually going to take a little bit of a while to breach these, uh, breach this city. But once I have like two archers set up, raining down, I should be able to crack the walls pretty quickly. Is my hope. You may have won the war, but I lost the battle. Yes, that is definitely the takeaway from this. Uh, <laughs> you have indeed lost the battle. Oh my god, you're just absolutely spewing out those warriors. Shoot, <laughs> shoot. Oh my. god. God, I mean, okay. It's... Let's try this. I'm going to just throw all of the warriors in. Oh, we got it down to half health. Okay, that's actually achievable then. That's a possibility. It's not half health on my screen. Your city is half health. Hold on, no, it's not. Not yet. It is? No, not on my screen. What, is this some kind of Chinese propaganda lie? It is. Oh, it's on half health. Oh, it it's below half health now. It's below half health. I think next turn, my first, like, suicidal wave of warriors are going to be able to breach it. That's the hope. This is going to be the turn. And shoot and shoot and go and go and go yes <laughs> we did it <laughs> hey okay i'm gonna claim i it took you 15 more rounds than what you said gonna okay it did take me 15 more rounds than what i said it was gonna take but that is i really should have probably got a second city down so i could have doubled my warrior production but why is it showing us nukes in the cutscene did you see any nukes oh actually you've got a different cutscene to me haven't you you've got yeah, the I'm def defeated oh uh, mine's got like these glorious marches with tanks and nukes going off in the background but i didn't see <laughs> any of that warrior victory <laughs> warrior victory if we take a look at like units lost oh you lost a lot of units actually oh god units killed oh killed about 19 i think or 18 oh um, ouch yeah i lost a lot of units yeah you i can't believe you declared war on me remember it was self-defense <laughs> <laughs> oh god what a game what a game thank you for joining me Connor. that was very nice of you um, I hope you enjoyed Civ 6 are you ever going to play Civ 6 with me again probably not well that's good that was exactly the intended outcome to be honest could have seen a better way for this to end really oh Aww. perfect oh indeed let us agree to just never meet each other again it's been a pleasure um, and I'll see you never bye 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 and there we have it ladies and gentlemen one friendship completely and utterly destroyed I hope you've had an absolutely lovely time watching as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of these glorious patrons you see on screen. They're being very generous sausages and bankrolling my glorious videos, allowing me to invest some perfect time into making these as good as I can. Thank you very much. And hey, if you're sat there and you enjoyed this Civ 6 video and you want to know what video to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now. It's been hand chosen by myself to be perfect for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit and I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now. Now.